Hello. The question of whether or not you should jump right out and start dating after your narcissist, that's a, that's a real um, personal choice. And I get asked a lot. I get asked a lot. Are you seeing anybody else? Do you want to see anybody else? Are you trying to see anybody else? Are you putting feelers out there to see anybody else? Here's, here's how I feel about that. They're all loaded questions. Because I, in my personal experience, which I guess there's no other experience I could have other than personal, so that might be redundant. But in my experience, I wanted to sit, remain, dissect what had happened. I'm wanting to get to know myself. I have a lot of work to do before I can embark on that journey. I want to figure out why I chose this person. It's not the first narcissist I've dated. It's important to me to figure out the patterns of what happened to my discernment. I think I had better discernment when I was a young teenager than I've had in the last 10 years. I don't know what happened. Age, exhaustion. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that's what I've been trying to work on. If you are somebody who feels that they want to get right back out there, and there could be several reasons you want to. You want to be distracted from the narcissist and you feel that a new person, it's the only way you can be distracted is with a new person. And you might say, well, Renee, I'm sorry, I can't get my mind off him without going to somebody new. I understand that. I've done that in the past too. And it led me to the wrong person. If you want to see somebody as a distraction from your narcissist in order to wean you off of your narcissist and move you into a new direction, have at it. However, try to keep in mind exactly what it is that you're doing. And try not to, this would be my advice that I would have given myself. Try not to see something in the new person that isn't there. Right? Do you want to distract yourself? Have six dates in a week. Get online. You can do it. It's very easy to set up dates these days. It can happen by tonight. If you got online by tonight, you could have three dates for next week. Do it. Do all of them. Go out, meet coffee, have dinner, whatever. But don't see in them the ultimate romance and try to make it be something that it is not. The other thing that I would recommend not to do is to try to go out and date just because they are. Like, oh, well, they're seeing somebody, I'll show them. Or not even I'll show them. More like in your own mind, well, if he can do it, I can do it too. Or I'm not going to be the one sitting at home. Or I'm not going to be the one, you know, not having all the fun. And I'm not going to make him think he's only, you know, there's ways around that too. I'm free to say this because my narcissist would never find this channel, would never know that I'm doing this, would never hear me say this. I lied to him. You can lie. What do you owe the narcissist? Nothing. So the last handful of times I was with my narcissist or talking to my narcissist, which we don't anymore, I had him thinking I was in a fantastic relationship. Oh, yeah. Because here's the thing. I didn't want him hanging around thinking I was available. I wanted him to have incentive to go away thinking I was otherwise occupied and engaged with another person. Not engaged, meaning spending time with another person. I thought that all of these things would work in my favor to make him go away. And, and the lie just kind of stuck. It was just a little lie. It was a few visits. I was like, yeah, I'm seeing somebody. Like, they don't need... If you want it for that reason, you don't actually have to go through the motions. Like, I don't feel like getting out there. I don't feel like it. I have work to do before I do that. And I didn't want him thinking I'm sitting here single waiting for him to come back. It was very important for me. And I'm not a good liar, so I'm surprised that I, I guess I probably got away with it because it was just on the phone and those last few phone calls that are on the phone where you don't even see the person. And yes, 
And I bet it was, it was definitely to triangulate him. That's how desperate it became. I was trying to triangulate him and make him think, oh, she's seeing somebody else. Like, that was a poor reason to do that. But the initial reason was I wanted to make him go away or make him realize that I'm seeing somebody else. That's not going to make them go away either. It might even triangulate them to the point that they try to come back to you. So you have to watch all, that's why I said they're all loaded questions. And whichever way you go, just keep your own healthy state of mind in the forefront of why you're doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't going to make myself start dating people just so that I could tell him that I am. So then it occurred to me, well, I can, but I wanted to be able to tell him that I was. So that's when it occurred, I'll just lie. They're not in your life anymore. You're not owing them anything. You're not betraying them by lying to them and trying to save yourself some, maybe you're not ready to go out and date, but you kind of want to use that as a tool. Maybe he'll leave me alone if he knows I'm, 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 but again, that can sometimes incite them to really lay it on thick in terms of trying to love bomb you and get you back and whatever. But if he's seeing somebody else and seems like he's on his way and you don't mind it leaking to him that, you know, you're seeing somebody else, then you can lie. You don't have to actually go through the motions. I felt like I had to go and have coffee with someone before I could say I'm having coffee with someone. I will eventually. So I just fast forwarded it. And I think it might have, it might have worked because I, pardon me. I don't talk to him anymore, and it is fading off, as I've said in the past. It, his communication has fallen now because I haven't responded. And I think he thinks I'm just out there seeing somebody else for the past however many months. And that's fine with me. I don't really care what he thinks anymore. But I thought it would help me in expressing to him that I've moved on. In expressing to him that I'm not waiting for him. Because how many times is it that the narcissist is doing this, that, and the other with this, that, and whoever, and they know we're just sitting home waiting. They know they have a wide open um, invitation to come back into your life at any time. And it, I felt that that closed that a little bit. Even if it just made him wonder, well, there might be somebody at her house I can't swing by there. Or... You know, I shouldn't be calling and... Because I would say to him, you can't just be calling and texting me. I have a life now. And maybe it'll help them fade off. If you really want to date, like I said, just be careful you're not seeing something that's not there. And by all means, please keep in mind everything you've learned from your narcissist. If you start to date and they come on and they're love bombing you during the salad. They don't even know you. You don't know them. Now you might say, well, wait a minute. No, I've, I've known this person 10 years I'm dating. I didn't just meet them online. They, they've told me they've loved me for 10 years and I'm finally going out with them. Okay, well, if they've told you they've loved you for 10 years and it's this good friend and they're love bombing you during the salad, it doesn't mean that you have to feel the same way. When I say don't try to imagine things, try not to imagine things that aren't there, that's what I'm talking about. Because it's very easy for us to leave brokenhearted from a narcissistic relationship and then have to go out and maybe try to find a band-aid for that. And you're going to be looking for love. You're going to looking for it to be love. You're going to look for it to be somebody um, rescuing you, saving you, making you feel better, appeasing you. You know what I'm saying? And none of those things are against human nature. They're all very normal for you to feel. It was important to me, and it is still important for me, for me to self-heal and self-soothe and get to a point of peace by myself without another person being responsible for that peace. That was extremely vital for me to to go on that journey and I've been on it and it's been extremely fruitful and I have had wonderful experiences in the past many months with friends, family, whatever. 
I'm starting to travel a little bit. And getting to know yourself again is very important coming off a relationship like that. Do not just think that you're fine because you're away from the narcissist. It takes a long time to heal. And the healing doesn't begin until you're away from the narcissist. So if you've just left them yesterday and you're jumping back online today to date because you just think, I can't, I can't move on from him unless I distract myself. Fine. Go ahead and do that. But just understand in your heart and your head and your mind and your soul and your everything, you're not healed. Do you know what I'm saying? You're not healed. Even if you're trying to get away from them. And by all means, if dating is going to help you get away from somebody else and you think that's the only way you can do it, go for it. Because you getting away from the narcissist, if you're ready, is the most important thing. So if you're like, I just, I can't. I have to beat my mind on something else. And think of if, you know, looking at your phone for somebody else to call rather than the narcissist. Although, see, that's the exact thing that I never want to get into again. Are they going to call? Are they going to call? Are they going to call? Ugh. Right? So just chin up and think about all that and keep yourself in mind. It's about your healthy state of being and your progression and growth so don't get wrapped up in somebody else so much so that you start to see something that isn't there so just be careful there's a lot to think about